o'er the fields we go. Go, go, go! Go, Jimmy! Jimmy wanted to start the day coloring. You want me to help you? Okay. Nanny came with me to go wake up Isaac. Do you want to lay down? <laughs> oh, she wants you to wear her headband. Hmm. Are you such a big girl? She oh. likes your drawings. You slept in well this morning, buddy. Yeah, it's 8.45. Something like that. Is that his teddy bear? Okay, close your eyes. So what are you guys doing? So you pick these and then you line them up by teams and they basically do the same thing with these and then you kind of have a game. Uh, cool. You guys are going to well, play against I'm each gonna, other. And then I'm also going to get dice which help determine what happens. Charger! Oh! So <laughs> I'm glad that those helmets are that much fun for you guys. I don't know why she's whispering, but <laughs> I'm grateful for it. <laughs> yes. That's a hand clap. She's been learning hand claps with Lisey. That's ours. And then we, let's we have to make a song for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of the things I'll definitely miss about Kansas City is this backyard when we have nice weather. Thanks for doing the laundry. Already almost done. We just got two more boxes in the mail, and I think this is the end of our Christmas shopping. I'm so excited, and I need to get wrapping. We're doing something new. Elise is making me a smoothie. I just taste tested it. It was really good. You did awesome, Elise. Thanks. What's your secret? I put in lots of carrots and lots of fruit and yogurt. Everybody wants some smoothie. I love how careful you are. You're such a great cook. And it was a super big honor to be on. It's uh, Papa reading stories. So they were really hoping they get selected. Unfortunately, Janae woke up from her nap super fussy, so she and I are staying home instead of going to ring the bells. I'm worried that she's not feeling good. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. That was, thank you, so deep. No, red nosed reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose. So Isaac has been keeping track of some statistics. Uh, what's our average right now? Okay, we're at 32 of 102. So 30% of the people who walk by give money? Yep. That's pretty good. One horse open sleigh. Or the fields we go. Go, go, go! Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Kendra had a list of things for us to pick up before we head home. Feeling like a little bit of a genius mom right now. Our house is a disaster and I'm wanting help cleaning up and the kids are just not into it. So I decided to incentivize them. I told them for, for every job that they do to help me out, they get to earn five minutes of staying up past their bedtime. And so, so far the kids have earned about 30 minutes of extra time, but my house is getting cleaner and they have a great attitude and little do they know I was gonna 
let him stay up late and watch a Christmas movie tonight anyway, so it's kind of a win-win. So that's your footprint in your baby. What's ink? Ink is like, um, like when you're doing stamps. Oh. So we put your foot on the ink and then we put it right there. That's what your footprints look and like when you're a baby. Another one? Yeah. Uh, you grew a lot. Okay, we need to have a little chat. I am so excited to fill you guys in on something that's going on in our life. So way back in November, when Jeremy and I decided to move to Puerto Rico, for sure, that night we were getting into bed and all of a sudden it just struck me. I said, Jeremy, I need to hire help. And he's like, to do what? And I said, to help me with all the things. Like I looked ahead at the months and I was like, Jeremy, we have Christmas and homeschool and moving and getting our house ready to rent and YouTube and all the things like that is way more than one human can possibly do and so he's like all right go for it and the next day i posted on just like my personal local facebook and we found the most amazing helper for our family and you know what? at that point i felt a little self-conscious like really did i need someone to be helping me but it has been the hugest tender mercy i did not know what was ahead with janae's health but god did and this prepared our family so that it could function while I was away. She has been amazing at decluttering our house with me, organizing our house with me, but she also is great with the kids. She spends time with the kids. She listens to them read. She folds laundry and does chores with them. And that help has made it possible for me to make it through these last few months. That's what's helped us to still be able to have some time to do Christmas traditions and some time to you know, take gifts to others and be thinking, outside of ourselves because we have that help. Also, just before Thanksgiving, I noticed that we were in a rut. We were eating out all the time, and I just was having a really hard time finding the time to make home-cooked meals. There's a lady that I know in my neighborhood who has two kids with celiac disease, and I reached out to her, and I asked if she'd be willing to cook just a few dinners a week for our family over this next month when I knew it was gonna be crazy with packing and work and things, and she said yes. And so we have had meals being brought to our family just a couple days a week, but that has made a huge difference. And you know what, I felt kind of self-conscious sharing this with all of you guys. Like I feel almost guilty for having this help, but I look at this season of my life and those women are angels to me. They are the helpers that God sent to make this season of my life work. And I am so grateful for them. Caleb, where are we going? To the Chiefs game! It's Caleb's first Chiefs game. We have Uncle Brent, Uncle Travis, cousins with us. We've been trying for the last two hours to get into the stadium. We're still outside of the stadium, which is a bummer. How are you feeling about the game? That's not what I had pictured in my mind. <laughs>